Hi guys, it's me, Trudy Lee. How's everybody doing? It's Friday night. Woohoo! Yeah, we're gonna do something really fun. Probably watch TV. <laughs> That's about all we do on Friday nights. My husband will go, it's boogie night. <laughs> Means nothing. <laughs> Tonight's boogie night, but we're not doing any boogieing. We're past the boogie stage. <laughs> Anyway, I hope you guys are having a beautiful, wonderful spring. I did something that I love to do today. I got my husband to do it, and I loved it. And I'm going to do it again tomorrow if I get a chance. I went to neighborhood garage sale. Uh, there's this uh, neighborhood that's having a big community garage sale not far from us. And I had texted my daughter, and she said, Oh, we're over here at this community garage sale. And I was like, I want to go. I love garage sales. I love other people's junk. I don't know why, <laughs> but I love it. I'm saving up for my garage sale, obviously, or my estate sale or something, but I love it. I love to go to garage sale after garage sale. So we went in the morning and this always happens. Always. You know, you, you know where I'm going with this. So after you have your coffee and everything, I drink two cups of coffee every morning. We get off on the road and me and him both have to pee like a racehorse. I mean, bad. <laughs> so we could only go to like six garage sales before we have to throw in the towel because we have to go to the bathroom so bad, you know? And it was in a neighborhood. So what are you going to do? Uh, excuse me, can I use your bathroom? I would never do that to somebody. I wouldn't want them to do it to me. So I would never ask one. So we had to stop. But before we did, I did find a couple of good finds. I wish I had my husband uh, here, but did he leave it here? No. He's wearing it. I found this watch. He actually found it. There was, he got out of the car on a couple of them and uh, he found this watch. It's a citizen divers watch, titanium divers watch. Uh, it um, is solar, solar activated. Isn't that cool? And he got it for $5. I looked it up on eBay and they're going for like $250 on eBay. It was a really cool watch. He talked to the guy about it and everything, and the guy showed him how it worked and what to do. And it's a, I mean, it doesn't even look like it's been used. It really doesn't. And then the lady, she had uh, this watch. I got this one. This is a Citizen, see? And the face is big, so it's nice because all my watches, the faces are so small. I can't see the time anymore. I'm like, don't ask me what time it is. I don't know. I'm just wearing this for jewelry. But this one is actually something I can read. I can read the face. And uh, it's not that expensive. I think you can probably get this one for about 50 bucks on eBay. But I got it for $5. So, woohoo! I like that. But uh, I would like to go again tomorrow. But I need to plan it out where I can. Uh, it, it's a good little ways away from our house. So we need to plan it, you know, an hour after our coffee or something, you know, so that we don't have to go to the bathroom and interrupt our shopping. But it was fun. It was a lot of fun. I did get a couple of other pieces. I got, I left it in the car, actually. I got some, uh, a Monet chain and necklace, a necklace and bracelet matching, a gold one, for two bucks. So, hey, it's a long one, too. It's, I think it's like 26 or 28 inches. And it's real pretty. So, I like, I love Monet. They're, they make nice things. Okay, so that's what I did today. I hope everybody got to get out and have a little fun. And the garage sale's going on tomorrow. So, I'm going to see if I can go back. If my husband wants to go with me, I don't like to do things like that by myself. But if I have a driver, I'm like, yeah, let's do it. <laughs> okay, the reading that I'm going to do now is I'm going to read uh, about the report, that um, Mueller report, to see if it's going to actually hurt Trump's presidency. That's what I want to know. I want to know, will this hurt Trump's presidency? Because nothing seems to hurt this guy. I mean, he is so protected. You know, the Republicans and everything, nobody calls him out. He's protected all the time. I just want to know, is this going to hurt him? Is this going to end his presidency? Is it going to hurt him? So that's what I'm asking my guides and see what, see what it says, okay? So here is the first card. This is the first one. So, oh, when I was meditating on him, listen to this. This is what I saw when I was meditating. When I connected with his energy, this is weird. I see a... Uh, I see somebody walking a dog, like a dog on a leash, 
but I, and they keep pulling him, like healing him in. They're just like, the dog is walking on, on the leash and they're pulling, they're like heal, heal. Like they keep pulling the dog in by their side. You know what I mean? To heal the dog. So I feel like that means that they are controlling Trump to some degree. They really are. They're healing him and pulling him in to some degree. I think that's what that means. And then I'll, I also see uh, when they want the dog to go, they have to drag him. You know what I mean? Like, let, come on, let's go. When they want him to go, maybe, maybe they have to drag Trump out of the White House. I don't know. But it's like the, the mutt is just sitting there and you just got to pull the leash and drag him, you know, because he's not obeying. So that's what I saw when I was connecting with Trump. That's uh, the flashes and images that I got. So we'll see if they have to drag him out of the White House or not. Okay, here's the first card. It is the Eight of Wands. Um... So this just tells me uh, everything is in motion. This report sets everything in motion. Uh, this is fire energies. And like I said, lo lots of transition, lots of things happening. I think this is going to change everything, y'all. We've been waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting for this report to come out in its entirety, right? And then when it does, things are going to start to happen quickly, okay? Things will happen quickly. But what will happen? What's going to happen? Is it going to have an effect on Trump? The, ultimately, we want to know, is Trump going to leave, right? Is he going to leave office because of this? So the next card crossing over that is the Two of Wands. Um, I think we're going to discover some new information. That's what this means. And then there's going to be a decision that has to be made. You know, it's going to affect not not only the United States, but I think it's going to affect the whole world, you know, by this decision. I think, I think it's going to be a really difficult, very difficult decision that's going to have to be made. I think they're really contemplate, they will really contemplate on it, on the effect that it's going to have on the future. So, you know what I mean? They're not going to just do willy nilly something that, uh, it's going to hurt the United States and the rest of the world and everything just to get Trump out of there. I don't think it's something they'll, they're going to easily make. They're just not going to say, oh, good, here's the goods on him. Let's get him out of here. I don't think it's going to go down like that. That's what I feel. That's what I think this means. Okay, well, this is good. Overlooking the situation is the temperance card. So we have the angel of peace over the situation. Uh, this is divine intervention to calm everyone down and bring peace to the situation. So that's good. We need, we need that badly. We really do. Here is uh, the foundation below that situation. This is the Knight of Cups. Uh, I think this is a man that's going to bring an offer to Trump. It feels very emotional, you know. Uh, I feel like this is an offer to protect Trump. I think this is somehow, maybe it's a, like a deal or something, but I think it also is going to, uh, I think it's going to protect the Republicans too, not just Trump, but the party, you know, I, maybe it's from Barr or something, maybe that's, maybe some kind of deal that Barr's cooking up, you know, it's just to, it's really to protect the GOP, really, you know, because they know he's going to be gone, he'll be gone at some point. And the Republican Party will still be there. So this is really a deal to protect them. That's what I think. That's what I think that is. Okay, here's the past. This, yeah, I think this was, uh, this is the Two of Swords. So the, <laughs> this was a decision to vote for Trump. And this is where we're at, you know. This is, this is how we got to where we're at right now. People didn't see him for what he really is, and they made a bad decision. You know, that's the blindfold. These two are the decisions. That's, you know, I think they just picked the wrong, you know, person for president. I mean, everything happens for a reason. I know this is all happening for a reason, but this is just saying this is what happened in the past. We made this decision to put this president in office. We were blind. We did this blindly, or the Republicans did this blindly, 
they didn't know, you know, what a terrible person he was, or they didn't care, you know, they didn't, they couldn't see all the consequences of their actions. So that's, so that's where we are now. And then we have the future. <laughs> this is the future, y'all. Ain't gonna like it. Look who's here. It's Trump. He showed up right on the future card. This is King of Pentacles is always Trump for me. So he's still here, y'all. No, even after the report is released and Congress gets it, he's still here. I see him still here. I, I feel like um, maybe the deal that they make is to put him on a short leash. Maybe that's why I saw the, the leash with the dog. Maybe they make a deal with him that they put him on a short lease and let him serve out his term, you know, just to make the GOP not look so bad. And, uh, you know, maybe he'll agree not to run for a second term. Some sort of deal like that where he is able to stay in office. I think that's what it's going to boil down to. That's what it feels like. I hope I'm wrong. I hope I read the cards wrong and it's and that's not the case. But I feel, you know, he's still here. It's the future and he's still here. And he doesn't have, have that much longer to go in his presidency anyway. So I think they're going to try to um, let him serve out the rest of the term. I really do. I think that's what it's going to go down to. He's being protected, y'all. He's being protected. Yeah, and it's it's too bad. You know, it's so sad. But the thing, you know, maybe people know, maybe people are wiser than us, and they're making this decision in wisdom without emotion. And we're very emotional about everything, and we just want him gone because he is such a negative, nasty person that's an embarrassment to the United States. So we just want him gone. But they want to do things. They want the United States to be able to um, have a standing in the world after this. And if we have a president that we had to impeach and get rid of or walk away, it's going to make us all look bad. It's going to make our whole country look bad. So maybe this is just a deal so that we can save face and that we can say, well, we elected a not a nice guy, but we're not going to do it again, you know? So I hope that's the way it's going to go out. So don't y'all don't feel bad if he le if he serves out his term. <laughs> don't feel bad about it, you know? Just go vote for the person that um is a democratic nominee. You know, I think we have to get behind whoever's the strongest nominee and get behind them and just vote for him and to make sure that this guy never gets into office again. And you guys know with all the indictments, all the things that are going on, investigations, uh, he will still have problems after he leaves the White House. He's going to have problems with other things that, you know, have nothing to do with being in the White House. So um, one way or the other, you know, things always, the scales of justice always, um, level out so don't worry things will it's kind of like karma I don't really believe in karma like that but it's I do believe in the scales of justice like everything evens out you can't do um, bad things without bad things coming back to you you can't put out negativity without negativity making a beeline for you so he's done you know he's good at manifesting what he wants because in his mind he this when you manifest something you have to have blind um, trust that that's coming to you. You know, when you want to manifest something, you blindly trust that that's your reality. And that's what he does. He blindly trusts his reality. When he tells a lie, he believes it. He really does. But this, there's so much negativity that's going on and, you know, it's just going to have to, one day, it's going to catch up with him. And uh, he, when things start happening to him, you know, when one bad thing happens to you and it seems like another thing happens and another thing happens because you're, you've got that energy now and then it, you just keep bringing it to you. It's going to happen to him too, just like that. At one point, he's going to stop manifesting the way he is and things will change and it will catch up with him. So don't worry, guys. That's what I think. Uh, one day it's all going to catch up with him. He may not be president anymore, but one of these days, you know, he will. 
Okay, guys, that's my reading for Trump, for the effect that the, the report will have on Trump. I, I did a reading on Trump, and it looked like he's fine and doing great. <laughs> Gosh darn it. <laughs> all right, guys, I hope you have a beautiful weekend. Thank you for all the messages. I always read them, and I appreciate them. I try to write back on some of them, at least give you a little heart, let you know that I really did read it. I do read them all. I, honestly, I do, and I thank you for them. So if you like my videos, guys, please subscribe to my channel. Hit the bell to be notified for the next one and hit the like button if you like it, okay? All right. Do something kind for somebody. It'll always come back to you. Love you guys, and I'll talk to you very soon. Bye for now.